just into the newsroom gives us a look at the storm as it's moving over the ocean. This is what it looked like in Depot Bay. Once the storm got to Manzanita, it formed a tornado. It's a pretty stunning video. That was around 11.15 this morning. The front windows of a home blown out. We've also seen photos of a tree snapped in half and a fence blown over, as well as debris spread all across a road. We just talked to the owner of one of those homes that was hit. It was, it was windy, it was raining, it was hailing. It was just crazy that we have another tornado, two of them. Thanks for joining us today at 4 o'clock. We want to bring in Matt Safino now. Matt, this is obviously a confirmed tornado now. Do you know how strong it was? It was an EF0. Winds estimated be between 65 and 70 miles an hour. Uh, those estimates are come up with by looking at the damage. The National Weather Service office in Portland has already sent out a survey team, and they came back with that assessment. So again, an EF0. Remember that 2016, October 2016 Manzanita tornado was much bigger and much stronger and did more damage. Now, it was interesting, too, on Doppler radar. We knew we'd have lightning strikes today, which we had, but there was really no signature on radar of this tornado. I'll explain why in just a bit. But again, the wind's about 65 to 70 miles an hour. The path, about a quarter of a mile long, and the width of the path, about 100 yards wide. So again, not the biggest of tornadoes, but obviously it touched down. It did some damage. Working on pictures and video. We'll have more on this later, guys. Back to you.